What's up guys, it's Power Bang and I'm bringing you as promised another video tonight that's going to teach you how to break down a base uh, with some air attacks. This is going to be six different strategies to destroy Town Hall 9s from the air. So get ready. First, we're going to start out on number 23 here. This is Lucas15, one of our notorious air attackers. And he is going to attempt to send a shattered entry in here uh, to go ahead and get two plus air defenses, uh, the queen and the clan castle. Now, in any air attack, those are your objectives. Air defenses, queen, clan castle. If you can get those three things taken care of, you are in good shape to go ahead and three-star the raid. So the first thing that happens is he creates a very efficient funnel by using golems to distract most of the defenses while the wizards go ahead and take out the flanking trash buildings and then sends the wall breakers in to get those golems to redirect. And at this point, you will see the heroes come in behind. So poison spell goes down as well as a jump. Let's pause it just for a moment and see what this jump spell opened up. You'll see air defense number one air defense number two and air defense number three will be in range of the queen firing over that wall and as well as some bonus buildings such as the air sweepers inside this core as well let's go ahead and keep watching so in go the golems we've got a skeleton trap triggered as well so that's looking pretty good rage spell goes down for the heroes and they are going to mow through this clan castle pretty easily they are received with the poison spell that is very key for an air attack as well having the clan castle uh, neutralize and take Taken care of and what better to do that than with a poison spell so the king has cleared out some of these defensive buildings the queen's going to get this air defense taken care of and hop the wall still only one air d taken out to this point once the sweeper goes down she will be able to focus her efforts on that cannon and then she will be out of range of all of the defense in the base so here's air defense number two uses the ability and is going to work through the uh uh what is that a clan castle as well and then at this point is going to be working through the wall. Once through the wall, uh, she will be able to take out the air sweeper and the third air defense. Now, into the air uh, defense on the far side is two lava hounds taking turns tanking. And then balloons targeting all of the defenses paying specific attention to the air targeting defense. And then he uses rage and haste spells to move those troops along. Typically, you want to save the rage spells for in the core or over Tesla farms. Um, or... Uh, you know, just go ahead and not even drop them at all, I guess, in, in some cases here. Lucas is pretty pretty studly, but uh, he's going to go ahead and uh, be able to send in uh, one balloon in reserve to go ahead and help with the cleanup process. But Lucas doesn't use his rage or his haste. He gets to the last couple uh, defenses here, the loon split up for the cleanup. But that's how to do it using two golems and targeting just a couple air defenses, getting that CC taken out, as well as the enemy queen. Remember, those are your objectives in every single air raid. And uh, how you accomplish those objectives can be uh, different things. And that's what I'm going to be breaking down in this video. So number 25 is next. This is Lion. Now, Lion's going to be doing a queen charge uh, La Loon here. The first thing that he's going to do is drop the queen, then do some funneling here with the wizards on the top left, and then probably uh, some baby drag action down here on the bottom left, and that's going to make it so that when the wall breakers go down, the queen actually heads into the base. So the baby drag doing a great job helping out funneling. Same with the wizards up there. Very nice job with that. And now the giant is going to go down to tank uh, those ground targeting defenses. So here comes the wall breakers, and uh, he brought extra just in case the, the cannon and expo picked some of those wall breakers off on the way in. Now we've got a very, very nice wide funnel created so that queen can go into the base. Uh, after she takes out that queen platform. So she is in at this point and is going to get close enough to deal with the enemy clan castle. And that is where the poison spell comes in, guys. Very crucial to have that poison spell. You see the rage is going to go down to keep that queen up uh, with the healers. Now, once the incoming damage from the baby drag and the Valks and the king come in, has to use that ability. Uh, but the ability is going to get her through it. Uh, take out the king. Take out that CC. And continue the walk. Now... Uh, the king goes down on the bottom just to help uh, funnel as well as distract um, the additional defenses from that queen so she's able to do more. Now in comes the balloons. Notice how they're targeted to all of the different defenses and the hounds are sitting on the air defenses to tank. Now, a couple haste spells are left, and he uses the haste spells very generously at the opening part of this raid uh, because 
they are you know quite a distance from the actual air defenses and that speeds up those balloons you see the queen has taken out uh, that second air defense on the left uh, and that leaves nothing left but a few defenses for the loons to go ahead and take out and they do just that the queen finishes up taking out the sweeper and the wizard tower down there all defense down at this point just cleaning up he saves one balloon uh in the bag and drops it down here for for god knows what reason uh but swag hay spell in the middle beautiful job by lion taking that thing out again guys that was a queen charge uh laloon to get those two air defenses as well as get the cc and the queen so nice job with that all right next up we got matthias and this is going to be uh instead of you know using a kill squad or a walk to push in and get those uh you know air defenses check this out zap quake uh, on two different air defenses, the Quake reaches both air Ds, so only one needed. That's going to leave him an extra dark spell to deal with the Clan Castle troops. So he'll bring a poison for that. Now, we've got a funnel being built by the King and by a baby drag. And then a giant goes down to go ahead and tank for the wall breakers as they open up the wall. Then we have basically suicide heroes going in. That means heroes by themselves, no other cover. Um, once that funnel's created, they really don't need a whole lot of help. So the king is aggroed by that queen, uses the ability, and then the queen is going to fire over the wall to go ahead and take her out. Now, only two air defenses left, and he's able to go ahead and send those lava hounds perfectly into those defenses. Look at all of those air traps. Holy cow. Compact base, so it's very, very easy to get away with no spells on these bases by simply timing your balloon deployment so that it sweeps through the base in a wave as is being demonstrated right now now the main uh threat in this base aside from air defenses is the tesla farm and he has enough balloons collapsing on this from all angles that he's able to go ahead and overpower it and work his way into the last part of this base now you have a lava hound in the cc and those lava hounds can do uh, some damage to you if they happen to break during the raid but as a rule of thumb if there is a tanking troop like a golem or a lava hound in the clan castle even a pekka um, it will not target anything that matters in your air raid so you don't necessarily have to worry um, if there's a golem in the clan castle or a hound in the clan castle um, if you can get some of those uh, objectives taken care of more towards the outskirts of the base and you don't even need to worry about the lure we'll probably see that in the next raid so matthias getting it done here on the cleanup beautiful job man plenty of pups around uh gets the job done nice work so we've got uh tanner taking on 32 this one is a little bit different kind of injecting some of the troops from the new meta uh which happens to be the bowlers and what you're going to see here is a very vulnerable section of the base with three air defenses all of which can be accessed by using one jump spell to cover the junction between the uh, expo and the archer tower. You see one jump spell there will open up that entire southeast portion of the base, including all three jump spells and two air sweepers. Uh, so you'll see two golems come down, funneling being done here by some wizards and minions. Great job with that. Wall breakers go down to open up the wall in between the golems. That is where they will target because the golems are basically uh, allowing that middle area between them to be wall broken open so now it's time for the bowlers and the king uh, to trail in with the queen and here they go with that jump spell as we described poison spell will receive the queen as well as the clan castle troops and the rage spell is waiting for the bowlers and king uh, very very nice really ruining this base right now all of the air stuff down there is gone the sweepers the air defense the cc and queen are now taken care of as well and you can see that over half of this base has been destroyed uh the interior of it anyway so now a very thin strip that he's going to go ahead and send lava hounds all the way across to go ahead and soak up as many traps as possible uh, so that the balloons don't stumble on that misfortune so very nice job with that loses the first lava hound but the second one is coming in notice how he targets that wizard tower as a uh, very high priority gets it taken out quickly and then he's going to work in some balloons to the backside to collapse on the final air defense but the queen beats him to it gets it all taken out now all the defense is gone and it is just a matter of cleanup so beautiful job with that tanner awesome work that is the shattered go bowl loon uh using those bowlers in the clan castle to help do some work 
Very, very smart to take those if you can find three defenses, uh, three air defenses that are really, really close in proximity, where if you can find access to that compartment and they can just slang rocks inside of a rage, you will find yourself in a good position in short order. Next up, we've got Rishi on number 33. This base, very not, not, not so good, but uh, symmetrical. All air targeting stuff is very exposed and very accessible. Notice the air defenses here top of the base that leaves the bottom completely uncovered and it also makes it so those air defenses are walkable that means the queen can easily shoot those over the wall get them taken care of and then also uh, these uh, air defenses up here are directly targetable by pathing balloons in to get them we will watch how that's taken care of here in a moment by rishi and notice because there's only one mortar in range of his queen at the drop location the damage incoming onto her is very slow and he is able to get away with accomplishing these objectives without even using healers this is the naked queen walk now Get that filthy thought out of your mind. Watch as she takes out two of the air defenses here. And on the bottom, Valkyries and King are dropped inside of a rage to take out both heroes. A whole bunch of defenses taken out down there as well. Notice up top, in comes two Lava Hounds directly targeting those air defenses that are remaining. And Balloons as well to target them. Now, this is the key. More Lava Hounds are dropped and he staggers the entry on both of these from each side and trails their entry with balloons. Now those balloons uh, are meant to go ahead and take out all of the rest of this air targeting stuff in the core and it does just that. He is going up against sweepers. Um, not the easiest little uh, you know raid there in the core because they're getting blown out of the way, but he has done it now. Trailing in some balloons to the backside here, going specifically after Wizard Towers. Um, the Teslas on the right side of this base were cleared on the bottom. The left side, they were not. So he targets in two balloons specifically to the Teslas, and they are gone at this point. So uh, two heal spells left in the bag, all kinds of splash bombs down there. It's not going to matter. The base has already wrecked all the defense down, and it is time for cleanup. Now, two, ra uh, two heal spells were saved here. He could have used those on the bottom as those balloons approach to the wizard towers uh, but instead let's swag them so that is going to do it for rishi's attack nice job man let's look at number 21 this is sparse now in this one instead of the naked queen walk we are going to bring a queen charge for three not one not two but three air defenses in this one and he's going to wall break two layers of defenses now if you use a rage spell on your wall breakers, you can get a hell of a lot more value out of them. And let's go ahead and look at the scout on this base. Now you'll see that this uh, this air defense here has a moat around it, not a lot of damage or not a lot of uh, you know buildings guarding it in the front of it. So if he comes from the left here and takes out this wizard tower first, there are no splashed buildings to go ahead and guard this wall or this wall from wall breaking. So let's go ahead and watch as he goes and uh, sends the queen down the side of the base. He's got minions going early to help with the funneling process because he does want that queen to go into the base to get those three air defenses. And we will watch as he does just that. So the first wall breaker goes down. It is a test wall breaker. And then the wall breakers following it up do go ahead and open that wall up. Very nice job with that. Now the queen can step up, take out the expo, take out the air defense. And then as the, uh, you know, this expo is still up, <clears throat> he's going to drop the rage spell. Now this is key, guys. He has to send in the next group of wall breakers because he wants this wall opened. Now, they will target this wall as long as this building is alive. So, there he sends it. They do go to target it. Now, the building is down at this point right here. So, if he would have sent the wall breakers now, those wall breakers would have targeted probably somewhere down here or more than likely over here. So, um, instead, he does get that wall open and he is going into the base with that queen. Here comes a Lava Hound out of that clan castle. He will have to take care of it. And one trick you guys can use when you are engaging a Lava Hound is to make sure if you have an extra minion in your army composition that you trail that minion in just before the time of the explosion. Now that, uh, that minion will actually target the Lava Pups and uh, go ahead and deal with them. Notice the preemptive poison here to deal with the uh, uh, Lava Pups that are in the front. 
there's that minion taking out those uh, pups and making sure that those healers take very little damage. Now, poison, or excuse me, a rage spell comes down to keep that queen alive, as well as those healers doing some serious work. Ability is forced at this point. Uh, the second air defense goes down, the sweeper goes down as well, and now a third air defense as well. And a very, very nice thin strip uh, along the upper side, basically from 12 to 3 o'clock here. And the balloons are just going to overpower that strip inside of rage spells, so looking really good. The Lava Hounds head into the final air defense, and the Balloons are working on their pathing to that air defense to take it out. Once that is done, it is just a matter of time because mostly ground targeting stuff left. Um, he targets the air targeting defenses there with the Balloons directly, and that is going to uh, really, really pay off for him as it is no longer able to shoot anything. Um, one Rage Bell left, and as the Balloons round the corner here, uh, they get that final little bit of uh, base taken care of, Rage Bell down in the core, because that's where it obviously goes. But another swag attack here from WHF. Nice work to Sparse there on that attack, guys. So we talked about looking at shattered entries, just standard shatters for uh, two, you know, two air defenses, maybe more if you can get it. And then uh, also the Queen Walk or Queen Charge for two air defenses. We talked about the Zap Quake approach. Uh, basically taking lightning to, to take out those air defenses without having to make a big push into the base with your heroes. Uh, we talked about the Go Bow Laloon, which is basically bringing bowlers in the clan castle um, to really get rid of an area and flatten a section of the base that might be overloaded with air defenses. We talked about the Naked Queen Walk, where he just sent a queen with no healers or no tanking or anything because the defense was light and he was able to pick up some uh, really exposed air defense. Sometimes they will try to bait you in, um, and if you can do it very efficiently uh, like Rishi did in the Naked Queen walk. Uh, that was very, very impressive. And then staggering the Laloon entry and not just spamming it all in at once to make sure that the Hounds, once the air defense is down, targeted the nearest closest defense and provided adequate tanking for the Balloons. And then finally, the Queen Charge to go ahead and pick up three air defenses by breaking in two layers of walls and doing that using that Rage Spell to go ahead and assist in those wall breakers getting to their target. So guys, hopefully you liked the episode tonight. This was six strategies. Strategies to destroy Town Hall 9s from the air. This is Power Bang, and I am signing out. Until next time, take care.